Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss A star search algorithm in artificial intelligence with a simple solved example. This is how the A star search algorithm looks like. I will try to trace each of these particular steps with uh, the example. For this one, I will consider this example. In this case, uh, S is the source node and E is the goal node here. The one which is written in red color is the heuristic value and the one which is written in the green color is the uh, actual cost over here. So in uh, heuristic search algorithm, we usually calculate the f value here. f of n is always equal to uh, that is uh, g of n plus h of n over here. Now what is uh, g of n is the actual cost to reach the node n from the source node. For example, if you are present at this particular node B, the G of N is equal to uh, the cost to reach from S to B that is equal to 2 here. That is 2, that is F of B you can see. And uh, what is H of N? H of N is equal to the heuristic value that is 7 in this particular case which will become 9 over here. Now when you are present at this particular H, that is F of H is equal to the g of h g of h is the cost required to reach from s to h over here that is 2 plus 1 in this case it will become 3 and the h value is equal to 6 over here this will become again 9 in this particular case so this is how actually we used to calculate the f value for each and every node in this particular case now we will come back to this particular algorithm this algorithm will contain uh, two the lists one is called as open another one is called as uh, closed over here so initially closed will be set to nothing here and open contains only the initial node that is S over here. Now uh, as I said earlier open contains only the initial node and its G value is set to 0 because if you want to go from S to S the value is equal to 0 so that is the reason we will set the value is equal to 0 and H dash to the whatever the value we have on the top of that particular node. So what is the value we have here 10 in this particular case and then we will calculate the value of f with the help of that particular function uh, in this case you can see here g of n is equal to 0 h of n is equal to 10 the total value is equal to 10 over here so that is how actually we used to calculate the value of f value of this particular s here now what this algorithm says is until the goal is found so if goal is found we have to stop here until the goal is found we need to repeat this particular steps if there are no nodes in the open we need to report failure that is uh, at a particular point of time assume that there are no nodes at this particular open so we need to report failure saying that we have not reached this particular goal node here right now we have one so what we do is uh, we will pick that particular node uh, from that particular open now there is one question if you have more than one node what to do that is a the thing they have written here pick the node from the open with the lowest f value for example, if you have more than one here, we need to select the one which is having the lowest F value over here. Right now we have only S, so we will select S in this particular case. And whatever the node you get from that particular open, call it as a best node and remove it from open and place it into closed over here. Now what is that we have done? We have to remove it from here and then we have to place it on the onto this particular closed over here. Now what is the next thing we need to do is we need to see whether that particular best node is the goal node or not. So once you place it here, we need to say whether it is a uh, uh, goal or not. Right now it is not a goal because goal is E. So what is that we do here is because it is uh, the not a goal, we go to this particular otherwise. If it is a goal, we will report that particular solution here. Because it is not a goal, goal node, we will try to get the successor of this particular best node. So what is the best node right now? Yes is the best node. So we will try to get the successors of this particular best node right now. Now for each of these particular successors, we have to do the following things. What is that we do? For each of those particular successors, we will point back to the best node because whenever we want to trace back that particular uh, the path, we need to know this particular uh, uh, who is the parent and all. So that's the reason for each of those particular successors, we will point back to that particular best node over here. So that is what I am going to mention it over here. For S, we don't have any parent. So that's the reason I have not written it over here. Now uh, we will try to calculate the G of successor. Now uh, why we are calculating G of successor separately and then we are adding it to this particular function. I will try to explain here. For example, let us say that uh, the right now the best node is S and we want to calculate the 
f of successor over here that is f of a f of b and f of c if you want to calculate f of a we used to uh, we used to add the g of a with h of a over here that is 7 plus 9 now uh, if you want to calculate let us say that uh, right now the best node is b and you want to calculate the uh, f of h over here so if you want to add uh, get the f of h what we need to do g of h we need to calculate what is g of h that is 2 plus 1 that is 3 and then h of h is equal to 6 that's not a big problem over here so g of h is equal to 2 plus 1 that is 3 so how to get this particular value that is 2 plus 1 that can be obtained something like this one if we assume that b is the best node right now we have already calculated the g value of this particular thing so the g value of best node plus this particular one will give you the g value of this particular h to this one we will add its heuristic value we will get the f value of this particular h so that is the logic used over here for example if you want to calculate the f of successor first calculate the g of successor the g of successor is equal to g of best node for example if you are present at this particular place that is b is the best node and you are trying to calculate the g of successor the best nodes successor best nodes uh, g value plus its uh, actual cost to reach from this best node to the h over here so that is what we will add to get this particular g of successor so once you get the g of successor we will add uh, the heuristic value to get the f successors uh, f of a successor over here so that is what we will calculate over here so that is the reason this equation has been divided into two groups first we will calculate the g successor and then we will calculate the f successor over here now once you calculate the f successor uh, maybe uh, you may be present at this particular level over here or over here whatever the level may be we need to see whether that particular successor is present on uh, open or closed if it is not present on either open or closed we need to put it on open over here and then uh, we need to mark it as uh, the successors of best node over here so that is how the algorithm will work in this particular case so now we will try to trace this particular thing as i said earlier uh, initially s will be present on this particular open and then uh, we will select one of this uh, particular node which is having the minimum f value right now only s is present so we will bring it to the closed over here so s will be present on the closed list now because s is not a goal node we will try to add the successors uh, onto this particular open by calculating this particular f value so if you want to calculate the f value of successors that is a b c the success the age f value is equal to 7 that is g of n and uh, h of n that is h of a is equal to 9 if you add those two things you will get 9, 16 here similarly b that is uh, g of b is equal to 2 and h of b is equal to 7 the answer is 9 and with respect to, to c g of uh, c is equal to 3 and h of c is equal to 8 we will get 11 here now we will uh, sort them in the increasing order because we want the best uh, node here so once we sort it the b will come at the first place now the thing is we haven't reset the goal node so we will select one of these particular best node from this open so b is the best node over here so we'll bring this particular b onto the closed list now so once b is present on the closed list we will mark the parent of this particular thing because we want to trace it back over here now uh, we'll check whether b is a goal node or not yes b is not a goal node so we will try to explore this particular b we have two options that is d and h over here now if you want to calculate the f value of uh, d that is uh, first we will get the g value that is uh, g value is equal to 2 plus 4 and then we will add the heuristic value you will get the total value that is uh, 14 uh, in this particular case similarly for h over here again we need to sort this part of thing in the increasing order now h will come in the first place we will select h because it is having the minimum f value here and then we will place that particular h onto the close list over here again we will compare whether h is a goal node or not h is not a goal node so we will explore this particular h h has two possibilities one is f another one is g here so we will add f here and then we will add g here we will calculate the f value of that particular f and as well as f value of g over here so if you want to get the f of f first we need to calculate the g of f that is 2 plus 1 plus 3 that is 6 plus 6 will be the f of f that is 12 here 
Similarly, f of g, which is equal to g of g, 2 plus 1 plus 2, that is 5, 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 here. Again, sort them in the increasing order, g will come in the first place. So, we will bring this particular g to the close list now. Now, once you bring this particular g on the close list, we will see whether g is a, a goal or not. Of course, it is not. So, we will try to explore this particular g. We have only one option, that is e here. Now, the value of e, that is f of e is equal to g of e that is uh, we have to add all these particular things we have already got g as the best node up to here we have already calculated plus 2 will be give you the g of g g of e actually plus h of e is 0 so once you add all that particular thing you will get 7 over here again we will sort in the increasing order now e is the first node so we will bring that particular e to the close list now now e is we will check whether it's a goal or not yes e is a goal node so we will mark this particular e as a uh, this uh, path is the final one over here because we have reached this particular goal node now how to get this particular uh, the path over here is we have to backtrack in this particular case the first last one is e the parent of e is equal to g the g's parent is equal to h here h parent is equal to b and the parent of b is equal to s over here so we need to go from s to b b to h h to g and g to e over here so that we can get a path from source to uh, the goal in this particular case so in this video i have tried to explain how a star search algorithm works with a simple numerical example i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching